Hello friends, welcome to my program, Kenneth Punch. I have spoken to you on the freedom fighters of Baluchistan, but today I am going to speak to you on a legend, Karima Baloch, the very first woman revolutionary that shook Pakistan, that took the world by storm. Karimama Baloch comes from Kech district in Baluchistan. At a very young age, she joined the Baluchistan student organization Azad in 2005 and she rose rapidly because she had the gift of God in her. People looked up to her to change and bring freedom to Baluchistan. A fragile figure, you could see her in front of the Karachi press a number of times in a burqa. Only thing which could make out that she was, Karima was her piercing green eyes. Karima rose to the ranks of the Baluch student organization and she became a leader of might. She saw her vice president being lifted away in 209 and uh, the chairman disappearing in 2014. Her family members were harassed but she grew in stature and she became an aspiring leader for every Baluch. She was the first female leader in uh, our Islamic world who was fighting from the front. She became the chairman of the Baluch Students Front Azad in 2015. And her whirlwind, you know, trips into the depth of Baluchistan, into every corner of Baluchistan, create ripples in uh, Rawal Fendi, in USA, in UK, in India. She started speaking, speaking for Baluch freedom for Baluch women and uh, she became a thorn of, into the flesh of Pakistan. You know, the Pakistan ISI, the Pakistan Army radicals were after him. Baluchistan was always a nation. For ages, it's written in the history, in golden letters, over 500 years. And when British left, it was an independent nation. And uh, the Pakistanis had agreed to it. But then, all of a sudden, the Pakistanis occupied Balochistan. And what was let loose, genocides, disappearance, started. It was the same old story. Pakistan was never a nation. It never had its own land and people. First, they killed about 3 million people in Bangladesh. Over 5 lakh women just disappeared. Over 6 million people went into India as 
refugees. And that is how Pakistan was broken for the first time. And now, the entire Baluchistan indigenous. For 70 years, the Baluchis freedom fighters have fought. But things have changed now. With the freedom fighters of uh, Baluch Liberation Front or Baluch Liberation Army, we've got the youth, we've got the women, we've got the educated lobby, all of them fighting for Baluchistan. And there appeared the star, legendary Karima Baluch. Baluch was born. Karima was born in 1983. And uh, as I said, in 2-0, she became the chairman. The Pakistanis army were after her. She went into hiding. And thereafter, she took, she went to Canada and took asylum there. But she said very clearly, I am not going to Canada or any part of the world to hide. I am going to fight from there. Fight for the independence of Balochistan. Karima Baloch became a legend. She was placed by the BBC in the 201-216 woman, world woman list in the first hundred. Her voice was reaching every man in the world. Every nation started believing in her. She said that over 50,000 Balochistan, Baluch people, lost their lives. Over 18,000 bodies have been found. The mass graves everywhere. Villages after villages in the upper regions have been burned out. Freedom fighters have been picked up and thrown from helicopters to set fear into Baluchis. But Baluchis are lions. Do you remember Akbar Bukti, Nawab Akbar Bukti? No, he did everything for Pakistan. He was a governor of Balochistan, a minister in uh, the cabinet. But then Musharraf thought he had gone too big and he was killed in 2006. From there on to 2015, all the groups came together. And now this legend of a woman was in Canada. She went to the UN Assembly, UN Administrative Group, UNHCR, and there she gave the real story of what is happening in Balochistan, what the Pakistanis were doing, what the Pakistan army and radicals were on a mayhem killing spree. People were disappearing. Now, even after she went to Toronto, Canada, she kept receiving threats of family members were picked up and she was pressurized to keep quiet. But uh, Karima Baloch was a leader, a mighty leader. She was not going to back down. She said, I'm not afraid of death. I'll choose my date and time to go back to my own people. It is not Pakistan who's going to do it. I'll do it myself. She was a very brave woman. The world started looking up to her. 
her messages there was a big following which was now coming to her big way she sent a rocky a bundan of you know sister a bond of safety to prime minister modi and said modi prime minister i don't want you to do anything but i want you to be the voice of balochistan and that was it now that shook the pakistani people well the baloch resistance group that is the freedom fighters and uh, legendary karima baloch now set the fear into the pakistanis as never before they had earlier the third state had killed uh you know a journalist abroad they sent threats again to karima to not to speak i agitate in foreign land on 14 december there was a big uh no article in the foreign presses it spoke of murders it spoke of kidnapping it spoke of disappearance of people in pakistan particularly in balochistan world leaders began to take a look at it even saudi arabia said balochistan must be free now they have you know, faced absolute genocide the arab world ua also started supporting they all knew now that the pakistanis were not a nation they were killing their own people and they started pushing this pakistan people out of the areas out of the country just to teach them a lesson because these people have already killed and hanged the prime minister bhutto they have blasted their prime minister x benazir bhutto three times prime minister nawaz sharif they have imprisoned these are no people this is no nation they can create any havoc in you know overturn with their army which is uh, located in arab world and do a coup there so they were started booting out now with karima the booties and all the youths it was a massive independence movement on one remembers bangladesh you remember that part of east pakistan who fought the pakistan army and uh, with help of india indira gandhi prime minister then they got liberated and became independent now it's time that baluch get their freedom pakistan now played the dirty game again on 20 december 2020 the disappearing act again a poor 37 year old lady who was just married staying in toronto canada a legend was missing on 20 december 2020 and a body was found in suspicious condition on the waterfront in toronto world was shocked un was shocked international amnesty cried loud pakistan hand was clearly visible pakistan required shaking the already uprising in sin 
کراچی اپرائزنگ ان پشتون خیبر پختون اینڈ نو اپرائزنگ ان بلوچستان ول پاکستان سروائیو یو ہیو ٹو ٹیک یور گیس بٹ پاکستان ہیز پلیڈ دا چائنا کارڈ ناؤ پاکستانی جنرل ہیز سیڈ دا چائنیز ول لا گیٹ آفٹر اینڈ کریش دا فریڈم موومنٹس بیکاز دا چائنا کوریڈور یو نو وچ از کمنگ رائٹ فرام سینگ کینگ ڈاؤن ٹو گوادر پورٹ has uh, no uh, has been ripped open by the baluch people by the sin people and uh, one trillion nearly aid which has gone into making this corridor economic corridor is threatened so therefore now is the people's war well the firebrand female revolutionary the very first in islamic world karima baloch will always remain a legend she has inspired millions of people she has lit the fire of azadi independence in not only Balochistan but also in Sin, in Pashtun, in POK and Gilgit, Baltistan. She has set fear in the Pakistan army, ISI, radicals. and the Chinese. She has become a legend in her own right. Well, she's become like Mahatma Gandhi or the frontier Gandhi of Pashtun or Sheikh Muzavir Rahman who liberated Bangladesh. Her name will shine ever brightly. Jai Baloch, Jai Hind. Thank you.